Good morning, everybody. Today is the day that we're going to show you our solar power system that we have set up here. We are 100% off grid, and uh, so we're just going to show you that. As you can see, there's no power lines coming to our house. Um, in order to get power to come to our house, it would cost how much, Ed? $25,000. Um, when I met my husband, he already had the system set up, and so we just decided to build on it. So, that's our yard coming in. There's no power lines coming in. So, these are our solar pa panels that we have, and then there's just one behind there. So, do you want to tell them? We have about... 3,000 watts of panels. They were bought over a number of years. Some of them we bought used. And as we had money, we just added to them. Um, the ones that are on the building are stronger. Yeah. Are stronger. 250 watt panels. And the ones here are? The small ones are 75 watt panels, and the bigger ones are 100 watt panels. There's a set behind there that is on an old mount that's 175 watt panel. We just added as we had money. Yeah, and do we have to add more panels? We need another 2,000 watts in panels to really reduce the generator run time. Okay, so now we're going to take you into that building there, uh, which is we call our powerhouse, which holds the batteries, the inverter, and controls for the solar panels. And control, yeah. What he said. So this here is our battery bank. And we got uh, two sets of batteries here. We're, these are Sered S530s. They're about 400 something amp hours. They give us, a, if they were brand new, we have about two days of power with them. Uh, they're getting kind of worn out right now. <laughs> we're we're needing to upgrade our battery bank, but that's just what we have right now. Is there batteries in that? In no, that there's no one? batteries in the other one. Um, batteries only last about seven years if they're looked after, so okay. you have to replace them every seven years. And do you years. want to talk about the maintenance of batteries? Every month, uh, this type of battery, we have to add water to it. It has to be distilled water, right? It has to be distilled water, and we have to make sure it gets an equalized charge, which means we overcharge it. And I also have a little meter that I go along and I test each individual cell on the batteries to make sure they're all working properly. Because sometimes they're, they're like buckets filling with water. They don't always fill evenly. And you have to uh, make adjustments and be aware of it. So this is the inverter. Now you tell what the inverter does. This takes our 24 volt battery power and converts it to 120 to 40 volt power for our well pump in our house. Uh, it's about 30 amps on two legs, so altogether we only have about 4,000 watts of power, but it's enough to run everything we need to do. And beside it, we, we go over here, we have extra battery chargers, so if we have... <laughs> and this is what controls our solar panels. We have an Outback MX-60 uh, solar controller. And then down below we have another TS-45 controller. This is stuff I've just collected over the last 20 years of playing around with this stuff. So we have options. We can also bypass the inverter if it doesn't something's not right. Or we can use different combinations of generators if things just aren't going well and we're not getting any sun. So what's that? And this is where the power comes in from the generators. Um, so when you start a generator, it waits five minutes for the unit to warm up. Then it turns the power on. And allows us lots of options to do different things if we need to. Okay, and this is the only thing in the whole room that I know about which tells you how much power you have. So right now we have... Oh, that's the volts. Okay, so he's going to explain it. This gives me the voltage right now of the batteries. This tells me whether I'm charging. The little red lights on tell me tell me the solar panels are charging. This tells me how much capacity is in the battery. 
and charge to equalize is what that little thing means. So we have 100% full battery right now. Yeah. That's all I know. And that's pretty much all we need to know. We can see how much power. Let's see here. It can tell us how many amp hours we've taken into the batteries or taken out. We can tell days since it's been fully charged. We can tell days since I equalized the chart the batteries and they were done not too long ago I failed to reset this thing it tells me how many amp hours we've taken out of the batteries in their lifetime and how much high voltage the batteries have had and that the voltage have had a low the batteries have had a low volt which will shut us down at that is this thing matter? So that's just the automatic generator start I built that when so this is no longer in operation? It's no longer in operation for now. Okay, so we're going to take you now to where we have the generator. This is an old Waukesha generator, four-cylinder natural gas. Um, I used to operate it 20 years ago when I was in another place. Um, it burns about the same amount of gas as a 100,000 BTU furnace, but the ability of it is... It does everything we need to do. It can charge batteries around the house and it will last about 25,000 hours if we keep oil and look after it. Parts are expensive, but it was worth every penny. So, this runs pretty much all the time in the winter time because we don't have enough sunlight hours to charge the uh, solar panels. And even when the sun is shining, it's not powerful enough, right? Is that yeah. how it is? We don't have enough hours of sunlight to fully charge our batteries. So this thing runs quite a bit, but the thing is it's so powerful that it charges the batteries very quickly. So it's not running 24-7, but it could if it had to. But, yeah. So that's our generator. And that's our system that we so have. That's our system. If you guys have any questions, or comments or anything about solar power, uh, just put them down below and we will be happy to answer them for you. Okay? Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.